Farming's not the easiest way to make a living, but for many veterans there is an underlying satisfaction and resonance that matches their experience in the service. More and more veterans who have turned to farming are contacting the Livestock Conservancy's Allison Martin to learn about raising heritage breed animals. One of the things that I hear again and again from, from veterans is that part of what took them into the military service in the first place is that they want to serve. They want to serve their country and when they come home they want to find new ways to serve. And some of them find that in farming and uh, particularly in raising something like a heritage breed, an endangered breed that needs help in order to survive. Veterans Jackie and Louie Huff created Raft Swamp Farms in Hoke County, where they raise heritage poultry and vegetables. Louie was raised on a farm, but farming was a lifelong dream of Jackie's. She thinks veterans are well matched to farming and raising heritage breed animals. They're not afraid to work hard, they're not afraid to work outside in all different kinds of weather, and this kind of a coordinated environment is much more appealing than what might be termed commodity agriculture, where you have acres and acres of the same thing, or very enclosed spaces where animals are less than comfortable. This kind of an environment where everything works together just seems to have an appeal, I guess because a lot of army systems just work together. Everybody has a task, everybody works together to accomplish the mission, a farm is the same way. Louis was in the U.S. Army Special Forces, or Green Berets, and recalls how his childhood on an Indiana farm prepared him. We didn't have modern tractors or anything, so we had animals to help us uh, do a lot of the work on the farm. Uh, but I, I enjoyed that life, uh, getting everything from the land or the woods, medicines, whatever, and in turn, uh, going in the military, it was easy for me to do survival and things like that. After the service, Jackie researched sustainable farming and looked for land even before she met Louie. Once they teamed up, they created a system where every animal and plant on their farm had a purpose, from their rescued border collies to their carefully chosen heritage breed chickens, ducks, and geese. Their heritage birds rotate through one of three fields each year to clean it for a future year's use as a market garden. They have pulled out all of those little cocoons that might have had destructive insects or destructive caterpillars. They've gone through that soil and sifted through that. They've eaten a lot of weed seeds that we would rather not have in the market garden. Because we rotate once the birds are through, the next step is to move the, the following year after everything has had a chance to mellow and age. The following year, that's our market garden. Their Harlequin and Buff Orpington ducks and Orpington chickens are hardy and well suited to living in a pasture year round. They only go into their coops at night for protection from predators. Chinese geese protect them from predators, such as hawks, during the day. My reading told me that the Chinese geese were very, very protective, very vocal animals. They're forever tilting that head and looking toward the sky. If they see something, they sound off immediately. If someone drives in that they don't know, they sound off immediately. Like every veteran, every farm is unique. Veteran Marine Calvin Nocktrob and his wife, Tracy, started Lucky Three Farm in Franklin County about six years ago. Calvin was raised on a dairy farm in Wisconsin oh and gravitated you know. back to farm life after the service. I went into the Marine Corps, stayed in there for four years, uh, met Tracy while I was in there, uh, got out. Um, we were fortunate enough that this was her family's land. We purchased this property from her grandmother and uh, I kind of just hobby farmed it because I always liked the cattle, so we always had cattle here. But I was working full time in Raleigh, plus messing around with these cows, and uh, it wasn't very profitable. Calvin's cows were Black Angus, a popular breed, but he needed cattle better suited to his farm. We went to a conference, is how we learned about the Red Devon, and they perform on grass. We need something that we can finish and fatten up on grass. So when we switched over, um, we had to find something that was gonna perform on grass. And the black Angus just don't give you that. They're, they're bred, their genetics are bred more for that feedlot. Because heritage breeds are more expensive than more common breeds, Calvin crossbreeds both his Devon bulls and Tamworth boars. The focus at Lucky Three Farm is on producing a flavorful meat product to sell directly to the consumer. 
And financially, it's just it's it's a, it's a roller coaster. Because you know, I mean, we don't know what the summer is going to bring. We go into a drought. You know, you got a lot of mouths to still feed. And they're still looking at you every day. So there's there's an emotional and financial roller coaster with farming. And uh, and that's one thing about the veterans is most of them have gone through that emotional roller coaster just by being in the military that, you know, that, that transition kind of to farming will help them survive it. Calvin and Tracy proudly display the Homegrown by Heroes logo to signify that their products represent the labors of a hardworking veteran who has chosen to become a farmer to help feed the nation. Out here, you're the boss, and those animals right there, they look at you every day to make sure that they're taken care of. And I think that's what service members need. They need that you know, that hero feeling. And the hero feeling comes from them cows looking at you. Like when I call them, they come. You know, when I moved them, they were excited to get in that new grass and they went to munch it. When we go down by the pigs, they're gonna be the same way. They're just gonna come. And that's, that's, that's a feeling that, you know, that you know, kind of keeps you going every day. Veterans are actually a great steward for the endangered breeds that we work for. The characteristics that they learn in the military, such as you know, hard work and planning and uh, being uh, motivated to, to pursue a goal, these are all characteristics that make them excellent stewards for endangered breeds.